Hello everyone, it's a real pleasure to be involved in Newcastle Startup Week again. Um, usually I'm on stage in somewhere really snazzy like the live theatre or um, the Helix. Um, welcome to my kitchen. Um, if you hear any noise in the background, that's the dishwasher, that's not my tummy, now that I've eaten tea. Um, today I'm going to take you through some cash management tips. Um, it's stuff we should be thinking about now and to be honest, much of this is stuff we should be thinking about all the time. And uh, if you put some thought into um, my tips and turn those into actions, then that will prove this to be a pretty useful 15 or 20 minutes. First, like, first tip, um, be aware if something seems to be too good, then it probably, you know, if it's too good to be true, then it probably isn't true. So who do you actually trust um, on this slide? Personally, I'd go for the guy on the right. Um, let's not really bring politics into it and talk about the rest of his compatriots, but um, he's come through with some pretty good schemes that have proved a benefit to uh, many, many millions of people up and down the country. Um, and it's putting real money in real people's pockets. Um, I think they've done um, an excellent job overall. By It is a bit of a sledgehammer to, uh, to, to, to crack a nut. Um, some of the schemes he's been doing, but uh, what he's been trying to do is try and get as much money to as many people in the shortest possible time, and he's been pretty successful there. Um, the guy on the left you'll recognise, um, he's helpful and dangerous in equal doses, in my opinion. So remember, he's not regulated by the Institute of Chartered Accountants or by the FCA. Um, I think some of his tips are quite useful, but um, they're generic by nature. Um, I would take his advice with a pinch of salt and maybe do your own investigations around stuff um, as well. It has been true that on one or two occasions recently, he's come out with news a little bit before the Treasury has and, and he's been a little bit wrong about it. And then the thing in the middle, it's, uh, it's, it's a scammer's paradise at the moment. So I think many people are getting emails and texts about uh, tax refunds and, and grants and that kind of thing. Um, just be aware, HMIC might send you an email or might text you, but you will never, ever, ever be asked to click a link and provide information that way. Um, there's always a different way, usually through your gateway. If in doubt, don't click anything, uh, speak to your accountancy provider. Okay, so what we're going to do to manage cash, this is about um, extending your own way, making sure that um, not only do you have enough to survive through um, the current crisis, uh, but to be able to thrive as we start to ease our way out of it. So um, now that we've had a little bit of time to stop running around in circle like, like headless chickens, um, we, we kind of should all understand the impact of coronavirus on our businesses today. It might be that you've fallen off a cliff edge. It might be that there's um, a measurable impact on your sales and income over time. It might be that there's been no effect or it might even be that you're one of those um, lucky businesses that um, have got even busier. Either way around, you kind of know where you're at. You know, um, you probably can um, assess where you're going now over the next two or three months. Um, just have an understanding um, of that. Um, chase cash. If you uh, invoice, if you're in business, business, and you're actually invoicing and you're waiting for cash, chase it, chase it now. You've done the work. Um, it's your money. It's sitting in somebody else's bank account. Have a process, have a credit control process and follow the process. Uh, remember, don't be too British. It's your money. You've worked for it. Ask for your money. Don't be shy. The longer cash remains outstanding, the more chance there is that it will turn into a bad debt. Don't let it get there. Just make sure that you chase the cash in and make sure that you have um, a process to do so. Understand your bank statement. Um, go through your bank statement on a daily basis. That's a good habit to have no matter what. Check your discretionary expenditure. It's remarkable how a few pennies here and a couple of quid there adds up to quite a lot of money over the year. So uh, have a troll through. Certainly make sure that you continue to pay for the things that you need, um, not only to survive today, but to help you through tomorrow. But it's remarkable how after a few months, even never mind a year or two, how many um, SaaS uh, subscriptions um, seem to be hanging about that we don't get any use out of, um, how many coffees we used to go out and buy in the olden days, that kind of thing. So just make sure that um, every single line on the bank statement, every single pound is being spent on something that brings value to your business. And in particular, analyze the biggest costs that you've got. That's normally people and premises. Um, most people have reacted to uh, both of those already. 
um, with people, with employees, we know in particular the job retention scheme is up and running now um, very, very successfully. Um, in my opinion, we know that um, that goes through to the end of July in its current format where the Treasury will, will underpin 80% of an employee's salary. Um, beyond that, it extends for another three months into the end of October, but um, the costs will be shared. We don't know what proportion between the Treasury and the employer, but the benefit after July is that um, it looks probable that the employees can come back to work part-time and we still get some kind of furlough payments in there. So uh, details of that should be coming out literally in the next few days. On the premises side, uh, yeah, who'd be a commercial landlord in this day and age? Um, if um, if you're in co-working spaces, then then obviously there's an opportunity, especially if you're on an easy and easy out term, uh, just to get out and work from home and cut that cost. If you're wrapped into a longer lease um, agreement, um, there's no harm speaking to your landlord about it. They can only say no. Consolidate your debts. If you have um, a lot of cash or a noticeable amount of cash going out of the door um, on a monthly basis, paying off loans, paying off credit cards, paying off paying down overdrafts, um, it may be worthwhile to take a look at the CD bills, the Corona Business, Inter Business Interruption Loan Scheme, or the bounce back loan, which is a little bit easier to get hold of uh, for up to £50,000. There's a few other caveats around that um, as well. Both of those schemes are effectively interest free to the borrower for the first 12 months and payment free for the first 12 months. Well, if you've got a couple of credit cards hanging around um, or you've got some expensive uh, lending around and if your business has been affected by coronavirus, I would suggest it's worthwhile considering taking one of those loans to pay down the debt, give yourself a bit of breathing space. Um, be warned, um, recommending debt is never something I would usually um, do. Just make sure that you know that um, a debt is something that needs paying back at the end of the day. And despite the government underwriting 80% or 100%, depending on which loan scheme you use as a borrower, you still remain liable for that debt. Um, and finally, on this section, make sure you access other um, treasury help that's been announced so it could be um, to do with grants um, available through the local authority um, it could be that you've uh, deferred your VAT payment for one of the recent quarters um, and you have until next March to pay that um, it could be if you're self-employed there's the self-employed income support scheme which is now up and running um, and cash should be landing in people's bank accounts uh, literally within the next day or two now for that um, just look at what schemes are available. If in doubt, speak to your uh, accountant and they'll be able to point you in the right direction. Um, yeah, the picture on here makes me think, yeah, sell your pets and then you don't have any vets bills. Um, that's not normally business expenditure. Um, so just let me... We have a supervisor here, by the way. That's Luna. Um, yeah, so I'll look into the future now. Um, Having a good cash flow forecast is good business practice, no matter what the situation. Um, so uh, let's do some forecasting, boys and girls. Just make sure you've got one um, on a daily basis, if necessary, if you're really, really struggling at the moment, certainly for the next two or three months, um, and certainly for the next 12 months or plus, um, if we can go for that. Um, anybody can be an Excel millionaire, though, um, a spreadsheet millionaire. So you've got to understand your tools and what you can do with them. A spreadsheet model doesn't need to be particularly uh, complicated and um, the key really is understanding your own business so cash flow is all about understanding when cash will hit your bank and when it will leave your bank be realistic in terms of what you think your income would be um, if it started dropping off at the beginning of um, the lockdown is it going to continue to drop off a little bit um, more and um, do we expect that to start rising up once uh, some of the lockdown comes out. So where do you think you're going to be in quarter three and quarter four of this year? So it's about understanding your forecasting tools, um, but in particular, it's about understanding your own um, business. Um, if you want to get a bit more sophisticated, there are other tools uh, besides spreadsheets to do forecasting in. Um, in particular, in the world of cloud, you have the likes of Float and Futurely, which are add-ons to uh, Zero and other cloud accounting products. Um, that will kind of help you on a day-to-day -day basis moving on through. And um, we'd be more than happy to demonstrate either of those to you. 
Um, and B, on top of the numbers, reappraise this daily. Um, I think, again, this is really good business practice. It doesn't take five minutes at the beginning of each morning. Check your bank account, check your forecast, make sure things are happening the way that you're expecting to happen. If they are fine, you can get on with the rest of your day. If not, you get the opportunity to think, why not? Um, if we're forecasting some kind of problems or opportunities coming up, then you know about that good and early. You can either address the problems quickly or you can take advantage of the opportunities quickly. If business has dropped, um, yeah, it's time to do a bit of navel gazing. I think any business that's been around for a little while tends to develop bad habits um, and maybe some sloppy processes. Well, um, you know, if you're not actually out doing stuff for clients and customers, have a look at your business, look at your processes. Can you get more efficient? Can you produce the same output but quicker, more profitably? Are there other products or services that um, you think you can produce now that might be more appropriate for the future? Um, how's your marketing going? Are uh, you doing a lot of kind of face-to-face -face marketing? Is it time to get more into social marketing and online marketing products? Just look at your entire business model. Um, reappraise it, give it a good old NOT and move forward. Um, and absolutely don't forget the future. So um, things might get worse before they get better, but they will get better. Make sure that you have enough resources um, to come out of this. That's in terms of cash, that's in terms of people. And to be honest, that's in terms of energy and emotion as well. So uh, look after yourselves. Um, you know, make sure you get some exercise, make sure you get some interaction with other people. Um, and make sure that you're in a really good position to go forward. Short and sweet that, but there's a couple of helpful links. Uh, we're updating our blog page um, a couple of times a week. There's plenty on there that's worth a good read. We try and write it in, uh, in good old plain English for you. And the gov.uk coronavirus uh, page takes you to a, a variety of help. It's not just around um, the financial help, but other hints and tips around how to manage um, your business around coronavirus um, as well. Any questions, give me a shout. I'm on david at .co uk, or you can give us a shout at the office. Uh, the telephone will come through. We are open for business, even if the door is locked. Um, and I'll speak to you soon. Thank you very much for your time.